This is Professor Pelton. This is Technical Mathematics, Chapter 12, and this is Section 4 on similar polygons. Now we're going to go into similar triangles, because as we learned before in previous sections, all shapes can be broken down into triangles. That's why triangles are the most important. So we start with similar polygons. are going to similar triangles, and there are five um, theorems for similar triangles. Okay, the order is not important from book to book. They will give different orders. What's important is you understand them, not necessarily which one is which particular number. So if we look at the first example, we want to determine a measurement by using similarity. So the question is, which similarity theorem actually applies? So if I look, I have a 48 that is the same in each triangle. And I have vertical angles here. So I have two angles that are the same. So if I look through the theorems here, if two angles are the same uh, in one triangle to the other, then the triangles are similar. So basically, theorem one, ah, theorem one, is the reason why these are in fact similar. Okay, so we'll use that information to solve now. So when you set these up, you should decide on the theorem. So theorem one, and then write your similarity statement. So I will say triangle A, B, E, similar to triangle. All right, so whatever you choose the first one, whether it's a polygon or a triangle, the order of the second one matters. So if I start here and do A, B, E, it starts on the 48 and ends on the, um, the unknown angle, which is a vertical angle. So if I start in the 48, and end on the vertical angle, that's CDE. So that is the corresponding. So we want to find AB, correct? So AB is what we're looking for, because that's what the question says, OK? So AB corresponds to CD. All right, we need to compare that to something else that we have in the picture. If you look in the picture, we have BE. So BE corresponds to, change the color here, BE corresponds to uh, DE. Back to blue. So the letter order matters. Be careful of that. Always write out the letter order. Okay, so if I fill in the blanks now, uh, we'll call the ABX. So it'll be uh, x over 9 equals 7 over 10.5, okay? And you could flip it all the way around, so you could also do it as uh, 9 over x equals 10.5 over 7, because you could flip the ratios over, over also. So one is scaling up and one is scaling down from larger to smaller, smaller to larger triangle. So essentially, when I cross multiply, I get 10.5x equals 9 times 7. So 10.5x equals 63. So if I divide by 10.5, I'll get x equals 6 inches for the missing measure, okay? So again, you'll need to do both of those. You can do one or the other when you set it up. Okay, pause the video. Try the student problem for yourself. Okay, so if you look at the student problem, it said that A corresponds to D, they're equal, and B corresponds to E, they're equal, so that is another theorem one, okay, of the theorem triangle, list, obviously. So if I go through, I can say triangle A, B, C is similar to, I have to make sure this corresponds correctly, the order matters, right? Um, so to, if I went A, B, C, that starts with this one and goes to this one, so I have to do the same thing here, so that's D, E going from the uh, double slash to one slash and up to the C, which in this case would be the F. Okay, so if I set up my ratios, that's CB over FE, right? CB and FE equals AB over, right? AB over DE, the order matters. So we have 30, over 10 
equals 24 over x, okay? Well, why did I pick those particular ones? Well, I, I knew the 30 and the 10, so I had to pick that one, okay? And I wanted to find this one, which I'm going to call x. So I picked, I had to pick the de, so hence why I picked. You have to pick one you do know, one you don't know. Okay, so if I cross multiply now, I get uh, 30x equals 10 times 24, or 30x equals 240, divide by 30 x equals uh, 8 inches. That's one of them. Okay, so now we need to do the same thing. So I'm going to take the same ratio C, B over F, E equals. Now I'm going to do A, C over D, F because the other part of the question is getting A, C, which I'll call Y. How's that? And the A, C corresponds to D, F, right? AC corresponds to DF in the similarity statement. So if I fill in my numbers now, I get 30 over 10 equals Y over 12, or 10Y equals 30 times 12, or 10Y equals 360, and divide by 10, Y equals 36 inches. That is the measures of the two missing pieces. Okay. Let's look at the next problem. All right, so I don't have any angles that are the same that are given. Right? I have one that's 33, one that's 42. That's not helpful, but I have a whole bunch of sides here. So if I take the smallest sides, right, the, the smallest ones are 10 and 12. So 10 to 12. The medium ones are 15 and 18. And the large ones are 20 and 24. So if you think about it, that's 5 sixths, 5 sixths, and 5 sixths when you simplify each of those fractions. So in fact, they are all the same. Okay, And you can flip them upside down and do 6 fifths, 6 fifths, 6 fifths. So it's really up to you as to which one uh, you do, whether it's 5 sixths or 6 fifths. Either way, which theorem is that? That is theorem 2. So if you go up above and read above, theorem set two says if the corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional, then the triangles are similar, which they are. So you either scale up by six fifths or scale down by five sixths. So Q is 33 degrees and R is um, 42 degrees. I think we got it. Okay, so we write our similarity statement here. If I do K M L. Okay, uh, so K is starting on the corner right here. That is the small and large. So if I look at small and large over here, that's R, isn't it? So that's going to be R, and it goes KM. Well, KM goes this way, down the small edge, correct? So if I go down the small edge here, that's RP. So it's RPQ would be the similarity statement. Okay. So that means if I look at the angles, Q corresponds to L. So that's the 33. Okay. And then R corresponds to K. So that's going to be the 42. And lastly, the M is going to correspond to P. So if I have uh, 33 plus 42, that's going to be 74. Five degrees, so 180 degrees minus the 75 degrees leaves you with 105 degrees for the remaining angles using the triangle angle sum theorem, which states that they all have to add up to 180 degrees. Okay, pause the video, try the student problem for yourself. Okay, so if you try the, the triangles for yourself, if you go small to large or large to small, you'll have ratios. So if I go small to large, it's 3 to 7.5 for the small sides, um, 5.2 to 13 for the medium sides, 
and 6 to 15 for the large side. So if you divide those in the calculator, you're going to get 0.4 every time. Okay. So what's a fraction or decimal really doesn't matter. It's the fact that they're the same. Since they're all the same ratio, that means they're all proportional. So that means triangle MPH. And why did I decide on MPH? No particular reason. That's just what I picked. Just pick something. So the second one's where we have to be careful, right? So if I pick MPH, right? M is this one right here, and it goes across the smaller side, right? M to P. So if I pick um, this going down the smaller side over here, that's GF, right? So that'd be G. F, H, if I want to correspond correctly. Okay, so that means if I know that H is 30 degrees in the uh, uh, in the bigger one, that's the larger one. Larger, and that's smaller, right? So H corresponds to H in each one. So that means angle one must also be 30 degrees because they're both angle H in each one of the triangles. They kind of flip over each other. Okay, that is the end of part two.